This is Calvin Russell, CEO and founder of 850 Club Credit Consultation. Hope everyone's doing well today. Today we're going to talk about which is better for you, a business line of credit or a business credit card, or even both, right? Depending on what you need them for. So let's go straight into it. First, let's go over what a business line of credit is. Uh, some people may refer to them as a LLC, of course, line of credit. So what is a business line of credit? A business line of credit is essentially access to funds uh, that the bank essentially gives you uh, access to, and that limit is essentially based on a couple different things. Um, that's going to be based on your personal credit history as well as the financial stability of your business. Um, you know, usually when you're thinking like this is a little bit different than business credit per se. Uh, with business credit, you're usually looking to get funding or things of that sort. In this particular case, um, you can get a line of credit without having business credit established. Okay, uh, because again, they're looking at the strength of your company, or called like revenue, um, expenses, um, you know, things of that sort, um, and things a little bit are a little bit easier if you have the business account uh, you know with the actual bank that you're looking to get the line of credit from okay now let's talk about some fees well number one the only way to get access to the money is if you draw the money and they, uh, the drawing the drawing of the money also has what they call terms and so that term is essentially how long you have to pull money out of that account. Uh, sometimes it's usually in months or a certain you know, select term period, but most of the time it's going to be within a certain period of years. They set it up like that because, again, businesses fluctuate. Um, things go up, things go down, and they want to make sure that not only do you qualify, but that your business continues uh, to qualify. Since there is a draw process, there's going to be a draw fee. Um, since they act, they don't know how you're going to be using it. Sometimes it could be a monthly or an annual fee. Um, then they also have an origination fee when you first start the loan out. And then, of course, you have the interest period, which is based on the amount that you take out and how long it takes for you to pay that amount back. OK, so that's a line of credit. Now, you're probably thinking, well, OK, it seems a little bit more difficult than a business credit card. Why do so many people actually get it? Well, because when you go into a line of credit and it's based on the stability of your company, you could easily have access to ten thousand dollars, fifty thousand, even up to one hundred thousand dollars. And some may do a little bit more depending on, you know, what type of arrangement. But that's the, the average of what that looks like. So let's say, for example, you need a one time, you know, sixty thousand dollar purchase, uh, you know, but you need to be able to get the funds out, you know, fairly quickly. Um, and then, of course, make that purchase, pay it off. And then, of course, um, everything goes back to normal. That would be the time to use a line of credit. Now, let's go into business credit cards. We're already used to uh, credit cards in general on the personal side. On the business side, it's really just giving you a higher limit just because they expect you to be doing business things. Um, a lot of people use their personal credit cards for business expenses, and that fluctuates a lot of balances, especially if you're keeping an eye on your credit or if you're trying to obtain something with your credit. For example, we have clients that are, you know, truck drivers or fleet, uh, you know, uh, rental holders and things of that sort. And they're always using their personal credit cards for fuel, for upgrades or general maintenance, uh, you know, oil changes, things of that sort. And that's perfectly fine. The problem is, is that not only does it you know, affect your, your credit score, because at the time that you look at your score it may be different than the time that they actually update the credit bureaus on what the balances are. So even if you're paying them off every 30 days, if you're not timing that right, or if you're not, you know, if you have a personal credit purchase that you want to do, it may fluctuate that score and you may actually have a higher interest interest rate uh, than you would normally have, but you just happen to uh, purchase it in the wrong time window. Okay. So either way, uh, with a business credit card, this is something that I would recommend if you're constantly having uh, business expenses and you want to get rewarded for them. So for example, you may have, you know, $8,000 worth of expenses, uh, you know, per month or $4,000 of expenses per month. There is no set amount necessarily, uh, but you do want to make sure that you have everything in place um, if you plan on doing so. Because some of us, you know, they're, uh, you're buying flights, you're staying at hotels, you have multiple meals, you're always, you know, uh, with clients or you're buying things or gifts or whatever the case may be to run your business. And again, it doesn't have to be as extravagant as flights and uh, hotels necessarily. Uh, but if you're always spending money on your business and it's upwards of, you know, a thousand to five thousand dollars, somewhere in that range at minimum, I would strongly recommend getting um, a business credit card. Now, in a perfect world, 
it's best to have both. Um, but it really depends if you're going to be using that line of credit. Uh, why does that matter? I mean, granted, you have to get your credit ran. You have to submit documents and documents expire. So unless you have something coming up that you want to like prep for, for example, if you're uh, you know, buying a, you know, a building and you want to make upgrades in the building or you're going to be renting a new space for your restaurant or whatever the case may be, and you know you're going to be spending over $10,000, $20,000, $30,000, um, and you, know, you could easily get that line of credit. Now, some people may say, well, what's the difference between a line of credit? credit and a personal loan well the personal loan the interest rate is going to usually be higher uh, simply because uh, they're not expecting the money back you no know, um, like so soon they they want you to keep it for two three four years that's because that's how they make their money personal loans are usually going to be uh, ten percent on the low end uh, so it really just depends uh, you know what's you know, what's going to work best for you your score has to make your score is going to make a difference uh, the stability the financial stability of the company is going to make a difference as well too and of course if you think it's best to have both go ahead and do so but at least you know that you do have options as a business owner all right so of course if you like this video like it you want to share it share it and as always be sure to subscribe as we have nothing but great content on the way thank you all so much have a great day